Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about area, and area is similar to perimeter, however it is uh, different of course. Uh, if you remember, perimeter is measuring the distance around an object or a shape, and area is defined as the measurement of uh, the space that covers a region or the area inside of a shape. And so here, if, as you can see, there's two shapes here. I have a square, or a rectangle actually, and a circle. And so when you're trying to find the area, you want to find the number of square units needed to cover that shape or that region. So if we're looking at this top up here, this rectangle, let's pretend you don't see that number right there. Let's just pretend we don't see that. If we wanted to count or find the area of that shape, we would count the number of squares inside the black lines. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so, just as I X'd out earlier, that there are twelve square units, or we would call that twelve squares. Sometimes you'll see centimeters, you'll see feet, you'll see inches, but in this case we're just going to call it units, and that's going to be our units, because we've talked about how you'll have a unit that follows a number. And so that's how you would find the area of a shape. Now, a circle can be a little tricky, can be a little tough, but so when we want to find the area of a circle, you're going to use an estimate. And to estimate, we're going to use the word about. And sometimes an estimate can be anywhere, in this case, around five, or it's close to five, um, or, or five units close to the way is the exact. And so it's hard to find the exact in this case, and so we're going to find an estimate. And the best way that I would do uh, to find the estimate or find how many square units are inside the circle is to first count the ones that are not being cut off by the black circle that you see right here. All right, so I'm just going to count the ones that are full squares. There's one, two, three, four. So let's just look at those for a minute. You see how these four, the, the black line is not touching at all. Now the ones up here above it, they do touch a little bit, so I'm not going to count those yet. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 inside that do not touch that black circle. And so now I can count the ones around it. And so I'm just going to count the ones around it that are inside. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So there's 32 actually that are inside there. But it's not 32 squares because they're not completely covered in. There's only, uh, again, about 16 of them. So some of these uh, would be um, cut off or would not be a full square. Like this one right, let's see, this one right here, I would not consider a full square. So I'm going to count that one. I won't count that one again. And then this one right here, I would not count as a full square. So that would cut off about two, which would give me about 30. And so here they said about 28. If you're close, if you're about five away, I would say you are you are pretty close. And so we said there's about 30, 32. So this one says that there's about 28. But again, the key idea is understanding the area is different than perimeter. Perimeter, remember, is the distance around a shape. And area is the number of square units that, that are needed to cover, or if you're counting the inside of a shape. 